Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the regular meeting of Mayor and Council of the Borough of Glassboro for November 23rd, 2021 to order. Karen, could you please read the opening statement? Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting as required by said act has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2021, which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board as well as the Borough website and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County and filed with the borough clerk on January 2nd, 2021. Thank you. Can we all rise and salute the flag, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Karen, roll call, please. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Casabon. Present. Mr. Delisandro. Here. Mr. Fiola. Here. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Here. Mrs. Spence. Here. Mr. Melandro. Here. Mr. Cration. Here. Mr. Burnamer. Here. Thank you. And at this time, I'll turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We have two resolutions to get us started this evening. Uh, resolution 289-21. A resolution appointing Justin J. Johnson as patrol officer for the Glassboro Police Department, effective October 12, 2021. And re resolution 290 21, a resolution appointing Dylan Skidmore as patrol officer for the Glassboro Police Department, effective November 23rd, 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, I have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Costa. Yes. Mr. Delisandro? Four. Mr. Fiola? Four. Mr. Halter? Yes. Ms. Miller? Four. Mrs. Spence? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, I guess we'll start the ceremonial portion of our evening as soon as I get my glasses clean. I can see. Okay. And we get. After me, I, Justin J. Johnson, I, Justin J. Johnson, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, uh, support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, to the same, and to the governments established, and to the governments established in the United States and in this state, and in the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties of. Perform all the duties of. The office of. The office of. Patrolman for the Glassboro Police Department. Patrolman for the Glassboro Police Department. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you want to get a picture with your friend? Uh, 
Yeah, you want pictures? Yeah, you want pictures? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to take them? Oh, they got some on the table. Why is Lopez? Really? Yeah, really. 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 Should we get out of the way? Or? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you can. It's up yeah. to you. It's yeah. 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 the family and we'll do it. I'll let you do one. Thank you. Let's pay it, please raise your right hand, repeat after me. I, Dylan Skidmore. I, Dylan Skidmore. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States and in this state. In the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties of. Perform all the duties of. The office of. The office of. Patrolman for the Glassboro Police Department. Patrolman for the Glassboro Police Department. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Me, it was me, Tony, and the last ones will leave a party, you know. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is him every time I see him. <laughs> 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 All righty then. Uh, moving forward, we have no public hearings, uh, and at this time, I'll approve. Uh, I'll to entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of November 9th, two thousand twenty-one. 
I have a uh, motion and a second. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, we have no communication, so I'll move to committee reports. We'll start with Council President Casabone. Oh, yes, thank you, Mayor. I first would like to congratulate Officer Johnson and Officer Skidmore. I wish them the best of luck and, and to stay safe. And also, I am in the receipt of the police, deport, police department report for the month of September, and we had uh, 3,295 calls for service. Out of those, it was 120 arrests, 861 uh, motor vehicle viola uh, summons and ordinance summons, and 550 code violations issued. And uh, I want to thank Chief Pillow for giving me this report. And last but not least, I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. That's all I have. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Councilman Delisandro. Mayor, at this time, I have nothing. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilman Fiola. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, not much, uh, except uh, always important. We're continuing to work on the budget, work in project. Um, department heads are submitting their operations and expense budgets. We're waiting for things like pension costs and state aid. Uh, those figures are necessary before we are able to, uh, to get down to the final figures. And, uh, just a progress report. That's all I have. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Councilman Halter. Yes, good evening, Mr. Mayor. Uh, two evening. things for water and sewer here tonight. Uh, pump at the pump station on Park Avenue, we're going to be going out to bid for upgrades for that in the early part of 2022, uh, with the anticipation of some of those components being delivered next fall. Uh, also, uh, I've been received the monthly report from the superintendent, as well as a letter of commendation from a local business in town uh, that's also a national chain who said that the water and sewer department uh, exceeded their expectations by assisting them with the matter, and they've never seen anything like it in all their uh, other cities that they've worked in. Thank you very much. Uh, are we going to need a motion for that bid? So, so yes, please. So I'd like to make a motion to go out for the bid for that then. I'll okay. second it. Okay, there's a motion on the floor and a second. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Do you have anything else, Council? No, that'll be all this month. Can I thank you? Thank you very much. Uh, Councilwoman Miller. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening. Um, I just want to mention that the basketball registration through the Park and Rec has been extended to Monday, November the 29th um, from 6 to 8 p.m. to allow working parents the opportunity to come out and register their kids for our traveling basketball team. <coughs> I just to wish everyone a safe and happy Thanksgiving holiday. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. And Councilwoman Spence. Thank you, Mayor. I um, just wanted to give uh, thanks to Buildings and Grounds, uh, Building and Grounds, for the completion of the special project at the Glass Museum and the Historic West Heritage Youth House. And it's much appreciated, and I would like to wish everyone a healthy and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Okay, we have no unfinished business. Karen, any new business, please? Yes, Mayor. I have a request for New Jersey State's Firemen's Association membership application. Christian. <coughs> motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Uh, engineer's report, please, Mark. Just a couple items uh, for you this evening. Uh, actually, as we speak, they'll be gearing up to do the uh, sanitary sewer force main connection on 322 for the high street project. They're going to be connecting into our existing manhole. So that'll be pretty much an all night deal. Uh, for that DOT is allowed an open cut, which makes it easier. But uh, nonetheless, they'll be out there for quite a few hours. With that, you'll also be seeing we've got uh, three or four buildings approved for grading plans. So you will start seeing lumber going up on, on that project. Uh, for those, they've uh, got the first portion base paved. Uh, and testing is finalized for the water and sewer. Uh, last item, it would be over on uh, Higgins and Ellis. Uh, they also will be getting the order to put in the, uh, start doing the stick framing, the Dorner Foundation. Well, the resolution you're considering later this evening is to grant a, a road widening easement to the county as part of that project to improve that area as part of the planning board approval. So that's one of the final items they have before they can get their building permits to do the uh, framing. So you'll start seeing a lot of progress they're trying to get done by October next year, so they have their work cut out for them. That's all I have at this time. Uh, other than to wish everyone a safe and happy Thanksgiving. 
Thank you, Mark. Anyone have anything from Mark? Okay. Uh, now again, I will turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have uh, five resolutions uh, for your consideration this evening on your consent agenda, beginning with resolution 291-21, resolution awarding contract for 2022 electrical supplies and non-specified services for the borough of Glassboro to Eric Chris. That was from a public bid opening on October 21st, 2021. Resolution 292-21, a resolution authorizing the Borough of Glassboro to enter into a cooperative pricing agreement with Camden County Educational Services Commission for the purpose of purchasing a key scan access system components for the code enforcement building. Resolution 293-21, a resolution authorizing the granting of a road widening easement by the Borough of Glassboro to the County of Gloucester in connection with the Penrose project. That's a requirement of the County of Gloucester for the Lincoln Boulevard Senior Housing Project in Glassboro. Resolution 294-21, a resolution providing for the insertion of a special item of revenue in the budget pursuant to NJSA 40A-4-87 in the amount of $4,950 for the 2021 Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over Grant Labor Day detail. And resolution 295-21, resolution referring ordinances 21-23, 21-24, 21-25, 21-26, and 21-27, ordinances amending various sections of the Zoning Code of the Borough of Glassboro to the Glassboro Planning Board for review, comment, and recommendation to the governing body. This is to allow the Glassboro Planning Board to make recommendations to the governing body. Those are your resolutions for this evening. Thank you very much. Um, I'll take a motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Second. There's a motion and a second. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Costa. Yes. Mr. Del Sandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. Mr. Mayor, we have uh, five ordinances for introduction this evening. Mm -hmm. uh, to begin with, Ordinance 21-23, an ordinance of the Borough of Glassboro deleting Chapter 249 entitled Fair Housing, Sections 249-1 through 249-8, replacing it entirely with a new section entitled Affordable Housing, and deleting Chapter 107 entitled Development Regulations and Zoning, Article 4 entitled Design and Performance Standards, and Section 107-50.1 entitled Low and Moderate Income Housing to update the Borough Code regarding compliance with the Borough's third round Affordable Housing Final Judgment of Compliance and Repose. This is for the purpose of updating the Borough Code to bring it into compliance with the Fair Share Housing third round ordinances in the state of New Jersey. Uh, public hearing is proposed for December 14th, 2021. Ordinance 21-24, Ordinance of the Borough of Glassboro amending the Borough of Glassboro Zoning Ordinance to reduce maximum building coverage requirements within R, R1, R2, and R5 zoning districts. That's in order to reduce negative impact of the expanded building footprints. Proposed up public hearing for December 14th. Ordinance 21-25, an ordinance of the Borough of Glassboro amending the zoning map of the Borough of Glassboro to reflect recommendations made by the 2021 Master Plan re-examination for the purpose of rezoning office park zoned properties to R, R2, or R4. Proposed hearing on December 14th. Ordinance 21-26, an ordinance of the Borough of Glassboro amending Chapter 107, Development Regulations and Zoning, Article 7, Commercial Districts, by adding a Cannabis Overlay District subsection to permit cannabis establishments, distributors, and delivery services in the Borough of Glassboro. And just as a note, that title has been slightly changed from what appears in the agenda. Um, public hearing proposed for December 14th. And Ordinance 21-27. Ordinance of the Borough of Glassboro amending the Glassboro Central Business District, CBD, and nearby environs redevelopment plan, Third Amendment to the Glassboro Central Business District, CBD, and nearby environs redevelopment plan, Fourth Amendment to the Glassboro Central Business District, CBD, and nearby environs development plan, redevelopment plan, and Fifth Amendment to the Glassboro Central Business District, CBD, and nearby environs redevelopment plans due to the observance of existing structure, uh, structures which pre present, present, so close to get through it all, which present <laughs> valuable opportunities to spur economic growth, and that is also uh, set for public hearing on December 14th. Those are your ordinances for this evening, if you would care to act. There you go. And uh, as with the resolutions, this will be done under the consent agenda. At this time, I'll entertain a motion. Motion approved. Second. 
I have we a have to, well, don't we have to open it up to the public? This is a first reading. Oh, first read. I'm first sorry. Read. First read. All right, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have a motion and we do have a second. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Casabo. Yes, yeah, since I messed this up, yes. <laughs> Mr. Delisandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Mr. Halter. Yes. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Yes. Motion carries. At this time, I will entertain a motion to open the meeting up to the public. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. The floor is now open for anyone from the public who wishes to address mayor and council. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody's smiling. No, I don't have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we like you. We're <laughs> glad to see you. Yeah. The, um, I, I do have one small complaint. I had talked to um, Chip. One day I was out um, doing my yard and I saw the little truck. I, I usually do the fire hydrant in front of my truck in the house, clean it up, blow the leaves and stuff. You know, we whack the grass around. That's next to my house in case something happened. I want him to get right there quick. Right, right. But anyway, I didn't catch him enough, but I talked to Chip and he said, no, they, he didn't, that didn't have no problem. So they cleared that up. I mean, they, what they did was they put uh, weed kill around. And usually I go out and do the same. But I, my complaint is I haven't seen a street sweeper on East Avenue in I don't know how long. And uh, leaves are falling now. I got mine all piled up ready to get taken out because I read your bulletins that you put out. And the bulletin says on the east side, you know, the week of November 22nd. Okay. So I said, okay, Monday, I can't put them out on the work on no Sunday. But I got them loaded yesterday. And I did do some today, but uh, I don't know when she'll get to me. I did. I do call, and they'll say, "Okay, Mr. Wise, we'll get to you." But um, I'm concerned because a lot of dead limbs is falling on the railroad side of um, East Avenue, and I go along and pick them up and throw them over in the bushes. You know what I mean? So there's nobody run over them. And when I run my lawn mower, my weed whack as close as to the curb as I can with my shovel. I don't want no branches in the way. So I do clean up. But this time, I'm overwhelmed with leaves, you know, from Oak Street all the way down to the other end of East Avenue. So uh, I just wondered whether anybody would uh, send at least a street sweeper out. Because I shovel mine till you can see the black top, the end of the black top. Mm -hmm. You know, let them know that I, I take care of my side. Mm -hmm. But, um, if it can happen, and if someone would, you know, be concerned about that, I would appreciate it, Holly. I would appreciate that. And while I'm standing, I just like to say hi to all of y'all. God bless you, and uh, don't do like I do, because I'm not going to eat a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit back and watch everybody else. <laughs> I thought you were going to say don't break leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I actually, actually, I rake at times, but I have. Uh, bags, lawnmower, you know, and I'll go on that side and I'll, I'll get up as much as I can without, you know, just sucking up the, the limbs, the little small limbs, because they say, don't put none in the pile of leaves that you put out next to your curb because it'll damage the equipment. Mm -hmm. And that, I don't want them to happen. And then they say, uh-huh, he did it. <laughs> so I make sure I pick out everything and uh, take care of business. But I just wanted to say that. So if that can happen anytime soon before the snow, Thank you very much. Thank God you. Bless. Have a nice Wise. holiday. You too. Mr. Wise, as, Mr. Wise, as yeah, we were speaking, I've already reached out to Chip, and he says not a problem. Uh, he has it on the schedule to trim back the branches and brush across the street from your house. Well, the whole street. Man. Yep. Well, yeah. He had to just do your house. Yeah, and, and he would he, he would have been here tonight, but his daughter is being inducted into the National Honor Society. Hey, but he still answered his phone right away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. we'll be on it. Yep. Thank you very much. You Thank you, Mr. Wise. Anything else y'all want from me? <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Say no others. I make a motion to close the public portion of the meeting. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed. Extensions, that motion carries. So at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. Move that all duly authorized bills be paid. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? 
abstentions? Yes, Mayor, I'd like to abstain on PO number 21-04220. Thank you. Mayor, abstentions on 21-04225 and 21-04250. Thank you. Those abstentions are noted, and motion still carries. Um, Melania, just, just uh, I'd like to congratulate officers Johnson and Skidmore and wish them uh, best of luck. Wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And you know, it's interesting. Uh, Council President reported on his numbers tonight. His numbers were as of October. When you look at code violations in October, 550. When you look at August, when the college is not in, 166. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I thought it was important just so put that on record so everyone can hear what really happens when the school is in uh, session. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you very much. And I will just, yeah, first start off with congratulating both Officer Johnson and Officer Skidmore uh, for becoming patrol officers here in the borough. Um, and I just wanted to point out, uh, because I've known one of the officers uh, when he's for a very long time, and the chief uh, corroborated my thoughts that um, Dylan Skidmore has been involved since uh, and a police explorer, uh, as well as his brother, who was standing up here when he was getting sworn in. And I think that that really speaks volumes to uh, the quality of the officers that we have here, and just by what they do here for the borough and for the residents of the borough speaks volumes for your department. So kudos to all of you. Um, and just to wish everyone uh, a safe and happy, healthy Thanksgiving. Uh, and with that, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll make that motion to adjourn this meeting. I second it. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? I don't believe we'll have any abstentions. Uh, that motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned. Again, happy Thanksgiving to all. And we'll see you at the next meeting, December 14th. 2021 630.